Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome back. This is another part of the Tyler's Grand Campaign. War, what is it good for? Absolutely everything. We should be coming to a closure of this uh, campaign for the Tyler's. And the last part we took a huge chunk of Persia's army. Massive chunk. Not army, uh, their lands. Uh, unfortunately, I had to auto-resolve. Because it would have been just crap anyways. Um, the battle for Tar Tarsus. I did try and get a siege towers ready for him, and then they attacked me. Uh, it would have been just a boring battle anyways, just a land battle. It wouldn't have been within the settlement itself. So I thought, fuck it, auto resolve it. And then obviously, whatever was left over, there was only like 600 troops. There's no point of doing a whole um, province capital battle. Well, obviously, four wall battle instead of a settlement and stuff. But we should get some in a minute. But these are settlements. Obviously, Petra is a province one, so we should get a decent one for that. They've got a, quite a bit of their armies down here because uh, they were attacking in Abite. But they might push back after that. Uh, they've got Gerhar as well. And obviously, I don't know what's here. Hopefully, there'll be something there as well. And then, obviously, what you can see here, I'm trying to push my guys up to get to reach there. Let's actually try this out. Hmm. Let's put them on the siege ready, and then uh, potentially that could be a battle. They're probably going to attack anyways, but we might either retreat or we just uh, go for the battle. Because uh, I feel bad for not doing one in the last one. But in the good sense of it, hopefully these guys can move up, and then there will be two full army stacks. But let's see what happens once we upgrade my armies from the expansion. Okay, so let's do melee. And we've got a spire ranking up as well. Oh, okay. Fear not. No point in that, because uh, that's the thing with the Pahava. I thought they were full army stacks to the degree where it was actually worth fighting them, but as you can see, they've got a, few, a food shortage going on, so... Okay, so that's, that's, that's them fully wiped out now. There's an army which is to the north of us, actually saying that. But again, there's not going to be no real threat. As you can tell, I'll move the guys up there, and then... But nothing to worry about. So in theory they've you know, they're done now. And then Ooh, they've got an army set there then. Potential, potential. They're dying off. So, and then obviously you can move up against that. Oh, I would have thought there would have been a full army stack there, so we take that as well. Again, whatever so Did it. Oh, first time I haven't got any bloody money for it. Alright, let's end the turn and see what they do. What are these guys are moved down in case we can use them? They may potentially have some fleets knocking around. Our enemies tremble at the thought of your. I'll say no for me, my buddy. Slightly occupied. Surely you can take a one by himself. I only got one settlement. You think you're hard enough? You do not need my back in, my friend. Whoa! I hope that this offer of coins 
will be taken the right spirit of comradeship and respect. Yeah, let's just take the money and we'll attack him again. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Let's sort out my stuff first. Love it. <laughs> Okay, first things first. Can we wipe them out? Yeah, let's get them. They're done, then we can move these guys down. No threats. Okay. I need to move up to here. I need to sort some stuff out, don't we? Well, Bam can move up. Take me out to there. Take on Gore. Uh, these can move back. Hatro. Stand there. They can stand there. And they can move up to Antioch at least. Yeah, because these guys can stand there. Okay, doke. So I got a full stack of Jerusalem. They're going to shuffle now, so this is probably a good thing to, for you guys to watch. Because uh, they'll actually bolster their troops up. Or put them in. Move them up into strategic. strategic areas. And they've just got that, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, I'll probably do that actually. They'll run off either way, but. To travel is to be truly free. Okay, so the farmer should be done. I think they got a fleet, it's about it. Yeah, okay, fully wiped out. So these guys can move back. Pardon me. I can do it, so. Experience for them. And then that for that. I think we're alright for. We just quickly shift through, maybe. Yeah, things are building. Out of the ones we've just taken, I would assume. Too many provinces. Yeah, it looks like everything's. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. And the next time we will attack them again. We've got everything sorted pretty much.
Join your mighty strength with ours in this struggle. I ask for my people's sake. Um, nobody. There we go. So they need to move back there. Well, they can sit on the borders, huh? I'll wait another turn so I get some more money in, and then obviously I can take on these um, settlements. So in that turn, I spent quite a bit there actually. And then some things will be moved up a bit as well. and wise and yet I wonder why you stand aside from this war I beg you no buddy we've got enough wars to deal with ourselves thank you Generals are dying. Oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get this converted over so we can. I see any versus the Gete. Come on, England. <laughs> Kill the fuckers. And uh, let's declare war, because that's what we're good for. And you've got no one to join you now, you've got no more friends, because I've killed them all. So, the first lot will be garrison armies by the looks of things. Oh, they can actually take uh, Shirax as well. Oh, my poor elephants are dead. Ready for battle. Ooh, so we've got full Imperium now. We can go up to 16 armies, 8 fleets, and 5 edicts. Sweet. Where should we eat it? I think we may actually be the last turn in the objective wise because this should be the last one for Persia. The uh, province of Persia. That's the only annoying thing about the end game is uh, you have too many armies to take on the AI. But the thing is, I know if I up the um, the mode to legendary or you know anything above very hard, I know it's obviously it's the beginning game, which is the hardest. Once you start getting everything set up, you're pretty much right. You can steamroll a lot of uh, the enemies. For 
well, I'm not saying it's a pile of piss, but it's easier. It's your starting game, which takes forever. And you're more likely to get killed off. If you have multiple factions to come and get you at once, or they obviously have uh, multiple army stats. But it's something I've considered doing before. I upped it for this campaign, and obviously, end game it's been still quite easy, so I may up it again for the next one. See how it goes, but, you know. So we do things. Oh god, it's way to land. Let's go towards here then. Oh, let's do the edict here. It's a shame because it was originally an a false army stat there, but what can you do? So we can't actually build anything else up. No, it's just purely garrison armies. I don't know where their armies are going. There was one full army stack at Jerusalem. Oh yeah, we can't do anything anyways, can't we? Uh, let's see where they... Oh, 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 oh shit, what have I just kicked? Bollocks. I just noticed that... Oh, for God's sake. It was only one... I thought it was two for army stacks. It's not as bad. I already kicked on auto reserve. Bollocks, we could have done that. Kick, 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 anyway. Sorry about that, guys. So I've had a range of them. Move these guys over here. Yeah, because they look, even Jerusalem, they've moved them. What are they doing? They're just sitting there then. Must be more armies than that, surely. Huh, okay. So I think it's going to be end after that. Because they're not really putting up a fight to be perfect when I've got Persia itself. I'll carry it on. Uh, on the next turn. Um, to see what they do. And obviously I'll take Jerusalem. So maybe a battle there to f finish it off. I'll probably do that. I won't take all their settlements. I'll do it until we get a battle. Because I've been promising that. And I've kind of gone against it. Go out of a bang and all that. Serve the people of Gaul. Good old stone crows. Well, it's Bernie's. 12 full army stats coming towards you you're not really going to be able to do anything especially when uh, I'm taking on I'm literally attacking on all fronts no factions be able to contend with that it's just you would have thought they would have sent some of their army stacks over I'll try and pick off one or two of mine at a time And there's a Nabateer actually holding them up. It's the only thing I can think of. There we go. We've com we are victorious! And we've got an achievement as well. Come and tell us Eternal. Let's see what that is afterwards, so I've done a campaign. But yeah, I'll carry on. Just so we can get a battle to finish it off.
fight is for the world. Three hundred and forty turns. Jesus, man. It was a slow start, though, with this faction. Factions encountered 59, the factions destroyed 12. <coughs> Current allies, 2 trade agreements, 33. Money against shitloads. Forces established, 18. Fleets, 3. Units destroyed, 2,562. Units lost. 361. Oh god. I don't do that many battles, do I? But when it's garrison, it's just, there's no point. Especially when you're over... Out... Man them. Naval battle was 15, better than compared to previous campaigns, but I should have done a few more, to be honest. Siege battles, I do quite a lot of, 34. Settlement battles, obviously 97. That doesn't mean once you actually go into the battle map though. Ambush victories A, Port victories one. Okay, let's continue and let's see what happens. I have rebellion at Hatra. Okay. Well, it doesn't affect anything, does it? So let him take it. Take that, see if I retaliate. Hour before us. Hopefully they do. They can move down. Yeah, let's see if I, these guys don't run off and we can do a battle with them. I hope that this offer of coins will be taken in the right spirit of commerce <laughs> and respect. They got so much money, 21 grand and that's 16 I grand. I think that many will regret your choice. Let us hope that the regrets come singly, not like Roman legions. Come on, attack, please, please attack. Here we go, we've got some movement. Some stones, man. Okie dokie. No, it didn't move, so let's attack him. Sweet. It's an ambush, though, but. 
This at least is something. Right, thank you guys for watching the series so far. If you have got to the end, hats off to you for enduring it. <laughs> I, 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 I do joke about that, but uh, please check out my other campaigns if you finish this one. I've got the Galatians, which I will be finishing off now, which is obviously more of the latest one. Uh, I have Bactria Grand Campaign, which I completed. I've got the Luciani, which is Hannibal. Yeah, Hannibal the Gates, that's completed. And Grand Campaign, well, Scythia, it's completed, but I do lose that campaign. But if you do watch it, it's very good because there's an awful lot of battles in it compared to some of these ones. It's a, it was a very hard start for me, and I had seven factions attacking me at once, so I was killing some of factions off, and then two army stacks come along from another faction, and so forth and so forth. So, even though it is a loss, it's very entertaining to watch. Maybe not as much as, I do apologise for the last two, three parts of this of auto resolving, but there's no point of doing garrison army fights, it's just boring, and especially if it's like... 90% 90% of me gonna be able to win me physically doing the battle is not gonna make any difference I'll probably get it to 95% on some of them so it's just boring to watch okie dokie oh we got so there so heavy stuff is at front okay Get a spearman here. It's not gonna be as clear cut as you may think this one. I can obviously just sit there, kill him. And ready. We'll get these on the opposite side so they can kind of harass. Okie doke. running to them. But they nah. Okay. Not as good as I thought I'd be doing in this one. Probably gonna get my scare when she's getting stairs or so or so. Yeah man. Both of them can fend for themselves. There you go, a little no. fire on them. Get skirmishes in. Get 
shifted over to that third. Get him actually firing from them. Oh, he's eating javelin as well. You can see that. So then you go back in the 4x. And then fire upon them, whittle them down. Come on everyone, charge! The general's coming in to try and get some charge bonuses. Let's get him. Our Celt warriors throwing their spears. We've got slingers piling in as well. Get a bit of friendly fire, so let's move this garage onto them. There we go. Charge! Kill guys, run back. We have victory! The uh, odds were always in my favour because it's an ambush, but considering they didn't do too bad. They got quite a few more units whittled down. But that's placement really, I'd say. Oathsworn obviously uh, defected a lot of their brunt and their force from the 4x swordsmen and pikes and stuff and so forth. Well, particularly their cavalry. And obviously the weaker units really, really weren't really going to do a lot. Minus the uh, javelins are pretty good. But I thank you all for watching the series and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will be moving on to the Glaciers and I hope you guys will be moving on to that as well. If not, other Let's Plays that I have on the channel. And I'll see you all in the next campaign. Thank you all for watching.